पतंजलि चमन प्रास प्रो रेसलिंग लीग सीजन तीन के आज के इस फाइनल में अब वक्त है महिलाओं के सत्तावन किलोग्राम वर खुश्ती का हरियाणा हैमर्स की ओर से आ रही हैं यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका मूल की हेलेन पतंजलि चमन प्रास प्रो रेसलिंग लीग के आज के इस फाइनल के सत्तावन किलोग्राम वर्ग महिलाओं की कुश्ती में अब एनसीआर पंजाब रॉयल्स की ओर से आ रही हैं भारतीय मूल की पूजा टंड This promises to be the most exciting bout of the night. Helen Maroulis, the 26-year-old world champion, Olympic gold medalist, 26-year-old grappler from the United States of America, goes up against India's Pooja Danda. Now, Pooja, remember, is the only grappler who has inflicted a loss on the world champion this season in PWL. Because uh, she beat her 7-6 in the league stage with uh, Pooja Danda. She's been the giant killer. She went on to beat uh, the Nigerian as well, Udnai Odikaru, by fall. Satyadev Malik, the referee for this contest in the commentary box. I'm Raman Banod with me, Anupam Gulati. And a very warm welcome to Bekzod Abdul Rahmanov as well. Thanks for having me. So, all uh, set then for this important bout, which could tilt the scales either way 57 kilograms puja danda from the punjab royals and representing the haryana uh, hammers the world champion the olympic champion helen mara lewis from uh, america well she's originally from uh, greece it's a greek american and interestingly when you say olympic uh, defending champion well defending world champion the olympic medal has been sandwiched in between two world championships 2015 and 2017 2016 in the middle as the champ for the olympic games and the first american wrestler for women to win the gold medal at the olympic games so that's some feat for her the young girl from maryland and uh, though a huge upset we saw in the earlier a time when these two teams had met Pooja Danda had won by the odd uh, point of 13 you can join in the conversation on Twitter at uh, SPN underscore wrestling yes also of course at hashtag kill for Ladi we've got Bexod in the commentary box Bexod of course you're one of the only grapplers to have run Ketik uh, Sabalov close during the entire PWL season was it heartbreak yesterday yeah, it was very uh, disappointing moment for me and for my team too. Uh, I think I let my team down because of their loss. You know, if I win the match, it would be different for us, and uh, we would be competing against uh, uh, Punjab Royals today in the finals. Uh, just uh, reminding the viewers, uh, Bexod, of course, of the UP Dangal team who fought the semi-final versus Haryana Hammers, just lost out narrowly in the end and the final bout in the final seconds. With uh, Vinesh going down to Sun Yanan, being the clincher in the end. Oh yes, that was a fantastic end to a memorable semi-final. And uh, by virtue of that victory, well, you got uh, the Haryana Hammers fighting it out here. At the moment, trailing 2-3, we're in the sixth bout. And when we talk of uh, the giant killer who's done very well in this uh, tournament, uh, Pooja Dhanda, well, she's got three medals at international competition for judo as well. She's at the Asian level as well. Before she took up wrestling, uh, this girl from uh, a, you know, a village close to Hisar, she's done splendidly. And one of the only, I would imagine, Indian uh, athletes to have won medals for the country in two different sports. Yes, but for the moment she was in trouble. That single leg hold for Helen. Pooja 
defending stoutly and uh, what is that a point being signaled yes there's a point that's been awarded to Helen and that's for passivity because almost two minutes and over had passed without a point being scored and Pooja Dhanda had to score in the 30 second period since she couldn't a point for passivity for Helen Maroulis so this is not uh, likely to be a high scoring uh, uh, bout both equally matched won the world and Olympic champion defending champion and on the other hand a rejuvenated and a very very energetic Pooja Dhanda representing uh, the NCR Punjab Royals. So end of the first three minutes. It's hard to tell at, uh, at this point because both of them wrestling so hard and it's like so very close match. Uh, I think maybe Helen has more experience. I think she can pull it up in the second round, uh, second period and she wins the match. But she's got the experience, she's got the pedigree as the uh, American. She's got that one point lead as well, thanks to passivity from round one. I'll come back and talk a little more about Pooja Dhanda Anupam. Yes, you're talking about how she's represented uh, India in judo and now into wrestling. Remember, she uh, came into PWL season two last year, was recovering from injury, came into the season, didn't have a great run in season two, but she's worked on her fitness. She's had a lot of support yeah. from her family. I was talking to her earlier. She talked about how her father okay. supported her sporting endeavors. She's worked hard okay. on her fitness. She's looked determined. And the results are showing in her performances. That's, that's the key. The determination, the will to fight back. Even though you are pitted against the world number one. Well, you're not uh, caving in. It's not a question of being overawed. Here there is a movement now for Helen and Pooja. And there are going to be a couple of points coming up. Yes, two-point signal for Pooja Dhanda. That was a fantastic turnaround. Pooja being awarded two points for that takedown. And the way she moved things around was absolutely unbelievable, Vexal. Yeah, yeah she, uh, she did a very good uh, counter attack for, uh, against the hell. And she shot, and then Pooja, she didn't uh, lose the balance. Like, she did a very good job. Good job for her. Oh, we're going to see another upset tonight. Will Pooja Dhanda prove that the win a few days ago against the world and Olympic champion wasn't a flash in the pan performance? Is it going to be another performance that we will remember as the highlight of PWL3? This is turning out to be a most absorbing contest between Pooja Dhanda, who had the better of the world champion on the 16th of this month. So she wants to repeat that even though it was a split decision at 7-6 here too it's not going to be too much of a difference it's an even contest and uh, Helen will have to change strategy get into the fast gear perhaps and then try as we've entered the final minute of this bout it's now or never now will it be uh, Helen who will try and stop the uh, upset possibly from a lower rank Pooja Dhanda or will it go in favor of uh, Punjab Royals to give them a 4-2 lead? Just about 30 seconds left. Begzot, if you were in this position with a slender one-point lead, what would you be thinking? Defense or attack? If I'm winning by one point, I, will, I think I should like defense and then move around and not give up any opponent, uh, opportunity for my opponent to Lovely score points. But I could see Kuldeep Singh screaming instructions from the sideline. For Pooja Danda. And I wonder if she's going to hold on to the lead. There are screams coming from the crowd. Helen Barul is giving it all. Ten seconds to go. She's got a hold of the single leg. Can Pooja Danda defend here? This could be a telling blow. Could be a takedown for two points here. But Helen Barul is Pooja Danda hanging on. And time's up. It's a point given. But even if a point is given to Helen Maroulis because Pooja Dhanda had effected a takedown for two points, which is the highest scoring maneuver in the contest, she will be declared victorious. That's right, that's right. So uh, because of the two-pointer that she had, well, we'll wait and see the official confirmation. It ends up at a 2-2, but uh, it will be interesting to see. Let's wait and I think, see. I think what's happened here is that uh, 
We've got a referral coming in from the Haryana Hammers. The red corner have asked for a referral here. Yes. Okay. I think they will look for a video referral. And that is understandably so. I would imagine uh, this would happen. We'll wait and see what happens on this one. But as we had all said, it will be a very close call. An absorbing match. Let's uh, see what is happening here. Takes a talk us through this because it was a good hold, a single leg hold yes, for Helen Ruiz. I don't think there's any points for Helen's here because uh, Puja is controlling the whole time. There's no like, uh, at the moment the time was over by the time she scored two. So I think Puja wins the 2-2 in this match. And remember, if the video referral gets turned down, there's anyway going to be a point added on to Puja Dhanda's score. So that will be 3-2. And Puja she'll anyway be victorious. Yes. So, we'll just have to wait and watch and see what the official confirmation will be. And yes, the video reference went turned down. The point added on to Pooja Dhanda's score, which means she will win this 3-2. And what a fantastic performance by the Indian. She's beaten the world and Olympic champ the second time around this season. This is a very exciting match. You were looking for an upset win in the final. You've got it. And I tell you what, Anupam, when Bexwad walked into the commentary box, before he picked up the mic, unofficially he was saying, I think Pooja Dhanda is going to win this one. So there it is, the second time back to back.